Jabari, just for you to come in off the bench for about a spark, first and second half, just what was going through your mind and how were you able to play tonight? Uh, my teammates made it easy for me. Um, when I check in every game, my guy right here, Greg, he tells me to be me, to be confident. So it really makes it easy for me out there. And uh, they trust me, and I trust them. So the plays that I make really are because of them. There's, you can't really see a lot of it because in the middle of the play, obviously, but they really help me out a lot out there. As far as guard play, Akron's had a long line of, of successful guards with Coach Dambrot, now Coach Gross. How's uh, you know, Greg and everybody able to help you get to that next level of being one of those guys, potentially? Uh, tremendously. They've helped me with defense, learning how to take the little things more serious. Um, they all believe in me on the offense side. They always tell me that, that I'm very gifted and things like that on the offense side. But they've been really wanting me locking on the defense side and getting on that side. And it helped me a lot when it comes to film, when it comes to knowing their plays. You know, Greg's there for everything, KT, the older guys. And it's, it's been a blessing to have them um, here so young. OK. Greg, for you seeing the young guy you know, come into his own and make big contributions, what were you like a proud papa, proud older brother? Yeah, man. You know, I always tell him every time he get in the game, like he said, I tell him just be him. You know, obviously I practice with him every day. I see the work he puts in. So I, I know what he's capable of. And, you know, we don't need nobody out there to be timid. So, yeah, when he just out there being himself, it brings another dimension to our team. That's another person they got to worry about. And he obviously has a high basketball IQ for his age, and you see it here. So, As far as that run to start the game, 13-0, to zero, just what were you guys doing to separate from Uh, We were really just locking in on defense and our schemes and what our coaches game plan, and the rest took care of itself. So, That's it. For either of you guys, you got a big one up ahead against James Madison on the road. What are you guys going to take from tonight to prepare for that one? Uh, we obviously going to take our uh, our defense. We definitely the defense travels, especially on the road. You know, it's going to be a sellout crowd. You know, we got to all be together. You know, they're going to make runs. We're going to make runs. You know, just keeping that togetherness and going up there and trying to get a W. <laughs> then Tavari, for you coming off. Uh, a little bit different of a performance tonight for you. What did you come into tonight's game expecting for yourself, and were you able to achieve it? Um, I was really just expecting to to be me. I wasn't really expecting anything different, anything crazy. But um, yeah, I did. I was able to do like I said. I'm talented on the offensive side, and it showed a little bit tonight. But yeah, I was just I wasn't looking for anything special. I knew my team. We we're gonna play together, play African basketball. So it was more, what am I gonna do to help them to to win this game? Tavari, you made both of the threes you attempted tonight. What was going so well from three tonight? Uh, it's really just repetition. Um. I shoot them all the time. I shoot them every day. I have a routine. So it's really just repetition, and I see the rim. I feel open. So it's just it wasn't really a problem for me today. Great. You got that amazing block today. Just talk about that block. Yeah, I just, you know, Jump try to on. yeah, I just try to do my best to, you know, be a, a good defensive player for our team. That's obviously a part of my role. And, you know, just try to get up there and go get it. And so that's it. Greg, uh, as far as the starting five with Sammy out, you guys go a little smaller with Caleb. Mm -hmm. Bring in uh, Scott, bring in Johnson here. Just mm -hmm. what was it like to acclimate some guys into more minutes, I guess? Uh, I mean, it was good. You know, we obviously, we know how to play with each other. We've been in different scenarios in practice. You know, certain guys don't practice sometimes when they're injured, and we've been playing with each other for a long time. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses, so it wasn't really that much big of a deal. And them, these guys are always ready. to When their name is called, they're going to be ready. So it wasn't nothing really worried about that. Just happy they just came out and performed. <laughs> Tavari, um, big word that's being thrown around a lot right now um, with a month to go, maybe a couple months to go, is culture. The culture that you bring as a young guy, watching these older gentlemen fall out, what are you learning from them? What's the culture like for even future, you know, Zips? They talked about talking to the old guys, Cheese and Channel and LCJ all the time. What, what, what's that legacy like to be a part of for you? Uh, work. It's really just all the older guys that I've seen here, with not just Greg, Reek, uh, Ali, X, even last year. It was work seeing what they put in and how, how much they love the game. And it wasn't just basketball. It was off the court. It was with the film. It was with the personnel, knowing how to be in the right spot on the court. And to see how mature they are and how serious they take this basketball stuff here at Akron is it's really motivating and it's something that I'm going to carry on for the rest of my career. Enrique, uh, just that yes. start, 13 nothing. One of the better teams in the conference. Just mm -hmm. what did you see out of your group to really take charge so quickly within the first couple minutes? Um, we definitely we we really executed the stuff that we wanted to on defense, so that was a good part. And um, you know, 
when the defense, you know, that's the biggest thing that we focus on. So we just we were just happy we were able to really execute on defense and, you know, get our offense going. Um, so that's about it. Like, truthfully, just happy we were able to execute what we wanted on defense. And then Tabari came in, gave you guys quality minutes throughout, mm-hmm. 10 points. Just yeah. what do you see out of him as he continues to develop? Oh, uh, TJ, TJ's, uh, he's definitely working his way up. He's, uh, he's such a good player. He's so shifty. He's able to finish on um, three levels, and he's just he's such a great player. So um, I'm just happy he's able he's stepping up as as everyone else is, and just you know playing to his best ability. Talk about Greg's effort tonight to get 17 points and six rebounds. Oh yeah, he Greg was he was on fire. He was on fire today. Blocks, uh, blocks the threes. He what he went. Three for five from three, or that's a free throw line. Two for three, yeah. He he was he was on one today. Yeah, I'm just not. Nah, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm happy. Reek, they had you and Ali pretty locked up in the first half. What did you guys do going into halftime to kind of adjust to that? Because both of you came out in the second half and had a little bit different of a stigma to your yeah. game. How did you guys adjust to that tight defense in the first half? Yeah, we um we kind of noticed that they were pressing. I mean, trapping in the post immediately, like on catch, which. I feel like we got a lot of open shots, and we didn't. We didn't. I don't think we executed the way we wanted on those open shots. We didn't make uh, normally what we do make, but I know going into the second half, um, we car- we started carving up their traps, so they took it off, and then I think we started executing just scoring in the low in the long low post, and that's about it, really. Going into the next game, James Madison, obviously yeah. a highly regarded team. What are your thoughts? Did you guys take a break from conference play to, to play another quality team on the road? Oh, we're um, definitely get our rest. You know, get 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 back to rejuvenation for our bodies and stuff, and then go into prep on the next day and like attack it just like we attack Central Michigan, Toledo, Kent, um, Eastern Michigan. You know, have that same mindset going into every game. Yeah. Speaking of the JMU game, that um, it's going to be sold out. Is that an advantage or disadvantage to the team? Uh, personally, I think it's an advantage. You know, I think um, when you have when you have even if you're not the one with the crowd, when you get booed, I think you feel it. You like feel that energy. You feel wow, they're booing me, and it's really just Akron against the world. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> pretty much. Was the that game at Kent the most hectic environment? Right. One of them. One of the most hectic environments this season, yeah, South yeah. State South Dakota State was pretty, pretty, pretty electric. Um, UNLV was pretty good. Uh, St. Bonnie's and the Rock and Mortgage was had a great crowd. Um, the the Toledo game was actually the, the Rowdy showed up. They packed the jar. Uh, yeah, we had a few of them. Yeah, but I already know this game is going to be a little bit different. You know, next level. Do you know anybody on that team by chance, Jamie? No, no, absolutely not. Okay. Enrique, you've been a you've been a player this season. I know you're a humble man, but you've been a player uh, that a lot of eyes have been on. And now you're going to get to be on national television this weekend. Is that anything that's in the back of your head? No, we was on national television. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> uh, no, 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 absolutely not. I just, you know, going to games to me personally doesn't. I mean, the TVs don't really matter. You know, the social media doesn't matter. I just, I just want to play to win. Really, that's all that matters. When you look at Tavari right now, who mm-hmm. would you compare him to to the guards that you've played with? Who's he most similar to during your last four or five years? Um, I definitely – I um, mm. he has such an offensive game like C-Jack. Like, he's so unpredictable to, to – you don't know if he's going to float it. You don't know if he's going to get to the basket. He can he can score in the long post. He has a little nice little post game. So, uh, scoring-wise, i definitely say C-Jack, scoring-wise.